Okay, so a battery moves things that are inanimate, correct? Mm -hmm. All right, are uh, used to move <laughs> things that are inanimate. Yeah. All right, now watch this, and this is for everybody. All right, so when something does not have a battery, but yet it moves, we consider it to have life, correct? Correct. Okay, all right, even things that don't move, like do, are we see moving trees and things like correct. that, right. you know what I'm saying, yeah. they have life. So watch this, and life is what? Equated to a certain level of energy that moves it. True. Okay, so basically life moves. Energy moves. Right. Energy is Anything light. can have light. That light has light. Okay. Right. So now watch this. <laughs> and I'll tell you why. The light, light has life in a second. When that rope ran across the floor, did it have a battery attached to it? No. It had life. Right. It was just roaming across. Okay. Oh, so so that means it, so that means it had a certain level of energy, correct? Yeah. What happened when that roach got stomped? The energy was probably distributed to every single person or every single thing that's living in the wherever. Some will say that's a possibility, but I believe that. True. But watch this. But watch this. Nonetheless, that roach had life. So now, if God looks at life as life, like we should all look at life as life. Life. That roach had life. You feel me? And we took that roach out life. without thought. You feel me? Okay. So that life was snuffed. Huh? It no longer had life. Huh? We assumed it's life. Preach my nigga. That Lord. energy. We took it in. Huh? Right. So now, 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 now watch this, watch this, watch this. The key thing is, once again, we started this conversation off with a battery has energy. Uh -huh. And life, we now equate to energy. Uh -huh. So a battery has life. Uh -huh. That's why if you ask anybody from Duracell, they'll say, this battery, this 9 volt battery has life. This battery, 9 volt battery, doesn't have life. It's dead. All right. Okay, that roach is now dead, just like an empty battery, which means no more energy. Right. All right. Bottom line, to sum it all up, there is an entity out there that looks at that life just as important as our life. What makes us better? Because it's life. Exactly. What makes us better than what we just did there, as opposed to a lion chewing on a gazelle's ass? It doesn't make anything better. Right. It's but it's it's one. It's nature to our life, yeah. we, that, that was natural to us. A roach is considered an enemy, why? Because it brings disease, it has chewing mouth parts, which means it can bite you, it can lay and nest eggs inside a child's ear, or your ear. It's an insect. Yeah. It's an insect, but at the same time, we that's, a, that's an enemy. So we're an enemy to that energy. I use my energy to delete that energy. So all of it is life, though. All right, it's a balance. Exactly. The universe, the universe creates it. Has a balance for everything. So it's now take it, take it back to what we was just talking human about. Human probably just about died about the same second that that joint just died. You know what I mean? Exactly. No, we, we see the consciousness in which we killed that roach made us justify taking life. Mm -hmm. True. That's the change. See, we have the opportunity for choice. Everything that has life has a choice in which way its energy wants to be used. What we're doing is no different than somebody stomping on us that looks at us like the same level we look at that roach. Yep. And when it's all said and done, that life is still gone no matter what. But what you said is correct. Like, why you say that that light has life? Because it radiates energy. Bow, bow, bow. 